you know, a week of open date practice has been really positive. Uh, we've shortened practice down a little bit here for three days, but we've really gotten after it. I mean, we've gotten an awful lot of work done, and the three main things I was trying to get done in this week, one is get healthy. We had a very physical game at Cincinnati in that injury list where last year at this time we had it was eight people out, and this week there's like 19 people out. There's a lot of guys with bumps and bruises that uh, haven't been able to practice this week. But main thing was to get healthy and then continue to develop the depth with this football team, with the twos and the threes getting an awful lot of work. And the third thing I want to do is keep our ones polished. You don't want to just give them off where you sit them back and don't let them do anything. So we did a lot of segment work, so we weren't doing a lot of teamwork and taking some of the banging off the offensive line. We went. Um, probably about 18, 20 plays with the ones the last couple of days against each other. Where we're still getting a little bit of work, but we're not. Oh, we were in the open day. We were getting 50, 50 plays a day, uh, getting a lot of work. So uh, those are the main three things we're trying to get done. Uh, the attitude of this team. They, again, they still want to be good. They understand where we are. Uh, we've created the situation that we're in, and we have to fight our way out of it. And they, they understand that. And I think giving them. Friday and Saturday to get away from football a little bit before we come back Sunday, get ready to go to work on Rutgers, I think will will benefit us. I think right now we're we're tired. I mean, we're, we're a tired football team, and give them a little bit of time away is going to help. Do you expect most of the guys who have been sitting out the past couple of days to be ready to go for, for the Rutgers game? I do. I don't have an injury report in front of me, but, I mean, like all – all five offensive linemen are practice, and I mean most of the injuries that we have are more of the depth injuries. Stephen Bright has had a shoulder for about a week, and he's not able to go. I mean things like that have been the depth issues, not necessarily the starters. Um, trying to think, I mean Linares has been out for a couple of days, but he he should be he back by Sunday. Yeah, he went today. He was back Miller, running. Miller, I guess still out. Joel Miller's got some back spasms. He hadn't gone this week. I mean, there's been a couple like that, but uh, um, all those bumps and bruises or spasms, I, I expect them to be back by next week. Skip, I haven't seen him in a few weeks, but Tabuto, is that back back enough for you guys to kind of shut him down now? Yeah, or? I mean, that was the decision a couple weeks ago, right. um, uh -huh. was to shut him down with his back because it was going to hit. He was in a law of diminishing return. The more yeah. he tried to go, the worse it was getting. And so they just said, let's shut him down completely and let's just rehab him. So he's doing his rehab during the day. Um, with a, so he's not out there doing a lot of training. He's just doing rehab. Could, could he come back at all, or are you shelve him for the season? Not is, this year. Did that happen early enough where he could be in position for like a medical or anything like that? Or uh, no, I don't think he's got. I mean, you have to have to become a medical redshirt. I believe you have to have two. You have to have two. It happened early enough for him to be a medical, but you have to right. have to gain an extra year. You have to have. Two okay, yeah, I guess I was thinking he had a redshirt year anyway. I'm years, sorry. Right. Yeah. Okay. Skip, I know Terrence came back this week and was in pads. I didn't see him out there today. Um, uh, he had a family situation. He had a family situation today and wasn't able to go. When we, he's on our limited. We just said let's let him run around and let's see how he responds to it all. Uh, like I said, we're going to proceed with caution with that one. He didn't have any contact this week or anything like that, just to see if running around with the helmet on and getting his heart rate up was going to create the headaches or the dizziness or any of that again. So, again, we're just proceeding with caution, and we wanted to go through these three days and see how he responded to it. But um, didn't get him a lot of work. Again, going to proceed very cautiously. I'm not in a throw him back in. You know, and I know the doctors are, they'll make that decision. They'll make that decision when he's cleared to go. And right at this point, we don't have it. So you would say Rutgers is probably out of play for him, or do you think that there's a chance he? Yeah, yeah I, again, I don't know. That's going to be all a medical decision. I, I just don't know. And when you're dealing with um, a concussion, a lot of that is going to be the testing. You know, the background, the history, all those things go into it and where those numbers are and how far away they are. But uh, response and stuff like that. But right now, I just, I don't know. I'm not planning on it. I'll put it that way. I'm, I really, when the severity of the injury, uh, the number of concussions that he's had, uh, I'm, I, right from the get-go, I looked at it like, you know what, anything, if we were able to get him back, it'd be a bonus. But I'm not, he's not a one-week or a two-week or a three-week. I'm more counting that uh, it'll be a season. I mean, you see you know, one hockey player that was out eight months, you know, I mean, some of these, you just you want to proceed with caution.